Happy Monday, everybody. Today is our vocabulary day. We have eight new fresh vocabulary words. Um, and we're gonna get away from those nasty weather words. Uh, if I have to talk about another thunder and lightning storm again, or a tornado or a hurricane, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, and I think the last story um, that we were supposed to read was called uh, Bad Weather, and I just had to skip it, because I'm like, I can't keep talking about tornadoes. All right, but there's a new and exciting and amazing story about kids expressing themselves through song and dance, just like we did at the holiday show. And there's a lot of really positive words. I'm really happy to hear about this new section we're gonna be doing. But let's talk about some of the words. I have some helpers with me here today. Um, let's see. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's get started here. So the first word is, could you hold these please? All right. First word is concert. A concert is a performance by musicians or singers. Oh, like our holiday concert. Jack and, and the example would be Jack and Louise played in the concert last night. Oh, look at them. They're in a concert. Ask, tell about a concert that you have seen. Millie, have you ever seen a concert? Jojo Siwa, oh my God, two hours of screaming. Yes, uh, Tommy, have you ever seen a concert? No, I'm going to see You never saw um, her dance performance concert? Yeah, that's not a concert. Oh, it kind of is. Oh, that is a concert. Yeah, she practiced. I saw my sister's Dancing is a way to express yourself. All right, running out of times. Right, this is the one that we did, so let's do a fresh one. Oh boy, instrument. Well, an instrument is a tool used to make or do something. A violin is a musical instrument. I never played that. Can you name another musical instrument? Yeah, how about my favorite musical instrument, the harmonica? Um, what's another musical instrument, Amelia? What? What's a musical instrument? Name one. De car. De, de, de car. G guitar. 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 Tommy, what's another musical instrument? The, the violin. The violin. Well, that's the one that they used an example. Can you give me one that's not in the example? Um, the harp. The harp. Love it. All right, let's move on to music. Music. Music is the pleasing sounds made by a singer or musical instrument. An example is Kira played her favorite kinds of music. What is your favorite kind of music? My favorite kind of music is country and hip hop. Uh, Amelia, what is your favorite kind of music? Uh... I think you like pop music. I don't know if you know the name for that. Pop music is, is the popular music we hear on the radio. Girl singers. All right, and uh, Tommy, what's your favorite music? I kind of like country, so. Oh, he's a country bumpkin. Okay, could have fooled me. I heard you listen to lots of marshmallow. All right, let's move on. Movements. Well, I can't do movements now because you're not going to be able to see the camera. Movements. Oh, and the ballet dancers. Daniela used to love reading that ballet book. Um... The movements are things that you, let me tell you what they are. Their movements are ways that you move your body. An example is the dancer's movements were graceful. It looks like she was flying in the air. Describe the movements you make when you dance. Millie, what movements? Oh, she's expressing it through dance. Oh, Tommy, how do you express yourself through dance? What kind of movements do you do? Oh, oh. Oh, my goodness. He was like a falling angel. All right. Well, time to move on to the next one. I bet you that when the people saw us singing, the holiday show, I don't have to bet you because I heard the sounds of the people clapping and cheering. Cheered. Yeah, you cheer when something's really, really exciting. If you cheer, you shouted with excitement or happiness. We all cheered when our team won the game. 
when would you cheer for something? Uh, Amelia, when would you cheer for maybe your brother or sister if they did a great job doing their chores? When I did, um, no. Um, when I do cheer, um, when I do cheer, I cheer for my football. Oh, that's a nice place to cheer. I love cheering on my football team. Tommy, who do you cheer on? Um, what about if you're in gym and one of your friends scores a goal? What do you say to him? Okay, you can say like, yo, sweet kick. I also cheer on my sister when um, she does a flip in cheer. Mm. She does a flip in cheer. Oh, when she's doing flips in, in cheer and tumble? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Well, yeah. yeah, it's a good time to cheer. Cheering makes people feel really happy, and all that hard work all pays off in the end. Well, let's move cheer on to our next cheer. word. Cheer and cheer. And cheer. Sound. Yeah, we visited this place called the Sound Room at the Long Island Children's Museum. Pretty amazing stuff. I put some um, slideshows up this week of the uh, kids from our class making some sounds. Sounds are noises that can be heard. And we learned in science that a vibration must be made before any sound is made. And remember, vibration is when something moves back and forth very quickly. Well, if it's doing that, it's making some kind of sound. And if a sound is made, some vibration had to have been made. Sounds are noises that can be heard. The triangle and drum make different sounds. What kind of sounds does a drum make if you hit it very, very gently? All right, let's ask. What kind of sounds would a drum make if you hit it very gently? Would it make loud sounds or soft sounds? If you hit, yeah, if you hit it gently, very, very soft sounds. Oh, super loud. Yeah, I'm waking up all the neighbors. All right. Good job, everybody. Oh, can somebody grab that, please? I, I don't understand. Understand. There are things that people don't understand. A lot of people. Okay? And that's okay because you learn things. We don't know every single thing in the world. There's things that we just don't understand. And sometimes people uh, maybe tell us too quickly how to do things. Uh, don't bend that, please. And um, you might have to ask. Ask for help. Oh, please don't go in the house. Oh, great. All right, so let's move on to the last one. Uh, what do you do if you don't understand was the question for that. Time to turn this to you. What do you do if you don't understand something? You're in class and somebody's saying fractions or skip counting numbers. And you're like, what's going on? Ask for help. How do you do that in school? You raise your hand. And then you wait for... To call on you. Wow, that's a really great idea. It's, it's very responsible. All right, let's move on. Last word. Uh, where is the last word? <coughs> the last word is rhythm. A lot of times a beat keeps... A lot of times a rhythm keeps the beat of a song. Uh, rhythm is the repeating of sounds in music or speech. An example is they tap the rhythm of the song. What is another word for rhythm? Well, it's a repeated sound, and it's, um, I guess, tempo would be the word that I learned when I was little. But hey, good luck answering those questions. I left an extra slide open for you on the following, so you can put your responses to these questions. And I want to thank my participators, uh, Amelia Bedelia and Thomas Jose. All right, see you next time, everybody. Have a great day. It's going to be a fun week. I can feel it in my bones.